Hi, my name is Amanda, and today I want to talk to you about a product called Roam Research. Roam is a note-taking app designed to be the home for all of your thoughts and output. It was launched about a month ago, and I'm basically obsessed with it. So what is Roam and how does it work? Uh, basically, you go in and every day it generates a new page related to that day, and you can input information in bullet point list form. And then you can indent information to suggest hierarchy of information, and you can also collapse and expand paragraphs of indented bullet points. But the real uh, innovation and unique thing about Roam is a feature called nodes. So by putting brackets around a word, you generate a node associated with that word. So you can then click on it, and it comes up with a page, and it shows you all of the other times you've ever mentioned that word, in what context, and what you said, and on what day. So why is this significant? Basically, the insight that the founders had in building this was that when you have an idea or a thought, you shouldn't have to think about where it should live. In current note-taking apps, um, you either put information in a stream of consciousness way into one uh, note, or you can organize it in folders or subfolders. The problem is that most ideas and thoughts don't actually work that way. They don't live in just one category. They actually span a lot of different categories. So often when I'm writing about my personal life, I have an idea that relates to my research. Or if I'm writing about my research, I have a product idea. And so when you put it in a place like Evernote or Bear or Notion and you put it in one folder, often it gets lost because you associate it with that specific folder and you never really go back and look through your old notes. And so that information can't be accumulated and built on. I think what's particularly fantastic about Rome as well is it leverages an understanding of how our brains work. Our brains work as a graph. We have ideas and concepts that are nodes in our heads and we know the connections between them and that's how we parse information. And so what Rome has done is created a way to output information in a way that mirrors this. And more broadly, I think that this plays a really significant role because we're bombarded with information every day. And our ability to grow our understanding and build a knowledge base comes on our ability to accumulate and parse that information and see the connections between them and be able to build on those connections. Most of us use note-taking apps daily to capture and filter through all of the content that we interact with. But most of the time, because we don't go back and look at the notes or because they live in one specific place, this information gets lost or is siloed. So Rome is basically allowing us to have an external version of our brain that functions in a similar way to how our brain functions, where you can store all of your thoughts, find them when it's relevant in the future when you have a similar idea pop up, and see how they connect to each other and you know the different ways that you've talked about them such that you can build on that information. So it's a really new product, so it has masses of improvements that could be made, uh, but I'm going to talk about broadly three categories. So the first is better visualization of information. At the moment, the only way to input information into Rome is a list of bullet points, but I think it'd be really beneficial to have, for example, a table feature so that you can make different uh, horizontal columns of uh, notes as well. Uh, one of the features that I requested to the founders actually was an all-page feature, which has now been built. Um, so it basically shows you a list of all the pages that you've ever generated. This is quite good, uh, but it's still uncategorized. So it shows you all of the conceptual pages, as well as all of the pages that correspond to a specific day. So it looks quite messy. So I think a better way to categorize this and be able to filter out the kind of pages you're looking for would be really useful. Um, and a third thing in this category is having a calendar view. So at the moment, if you want to look for a page in the past, you have to scroll through all of the pages you've ever generated uh, and all the content in those pages, which is quite inefficient. Uh, having a calendar view would allow you to span time much more quickly and see which days you had written on, so you could click and look at that content. A second category of improvement is related to integration and sharing. Basically, it, in the way we work today, if you can't share information from an app, it makes it really difficult to keep using it. So one of the flaws of Roam at the moment is that you can only share your entire database, which you often don't want to do because you have a lot of content in the database. So a way to share only one page or a category of bullet points would be really fantastic. And thirdly, efficiency of actually writing the content. 
Something that other apps do really well, like Notion does this well, is templatization. So you can create a template, click a button, and it generates the entire template for you. Uh, at the moment in, no uh, in Rome, if you want to do this, you just have to copy paste uh, each time. So being able to have, for example, a daily template where it has questions like, what are the goals you want to work on today? And what are you grateful for today? That auto generates uh, would be really useful. So that's my analysis of Rome. Uh, I highly recommend you check it out. It's a fantastic product and it's really changed the way that I interact with my thoughts and my output. Thank you for watching.